Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be trying a few new products that I showed you guys in a haul that I recently did. I only have a few items. I'm not doing like a full face of makeup or anything. I'm actually just doing just the few items that I have here. So before we get started, if you're new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video. So now let's go ahead and get into applying this makeup. First off, I'm gonna put this item lip oil on. I already opened the packaging I actually bought two of these, but I wanted to go ahead and use it today. I tried it on for a split second and then I took it off. This one is called Come Through. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love the little applicator here. It just hugs your lips. It smells so good. It smells like peaches. But yeah, I'm gonna put this on my lips just for now. I really enjoy the products from Item Beauty. I love their blushes. I love their mascara. And I wanna try their concealer really soon. So yeah, I went ahead and put that on. It feels really good. It's not like goopy or anything like that. It feels really nice on the lips. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow. I actually put on my eyeshadow base. And today I'm gonna to be using two palettes. One is the Cosette palette and one is is the black opal I'm gonna try to use like some mattes from this one and then go in with maybe one or two of these shades so yeah my eye primer is already on so we're gonna go ahead and start I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's kind of like a matte brown I'm just gonna put that on my crease but yeah that's nice again I'm using my Ariel brushes I've really been loving these okay that is gorgeous Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I wanna kinda of deepen up the corner. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. If you hear noises, my daughter's next door taking a shower, so hopefully you can't hear her um, music or any kind of noise. And so I'm just taking this on the corner and bringing it up into the crease. Wow, I'm really impressed with these shadows. They're going on so beautifully. And the pigment, the pigment is there. Alrighty, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to now step into this palette, which is the Cosette palette. This is the mini palette, and these are the shades. Very, very gorgeous, vibrant, metallic shade. Okay, I'm gonna use this, I think this is a Anastasia brush. So yeah, it's just one of those flat brushes, and I'm gonna go ahead and see, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's go in with this one right here. It's a teal shade. It kind of looks a little green, but let me try to turn it. It's more of a teal shade. Okay, I'm gonna place this on the lid. Oh man, that is gorgeous. I'm not coming too far into the corner. I'm just placing it on top of the lid and blending it into that darker shade that I put on earlier. That's it right there. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look how metallic it is. It's insane. All right, so now I'm gonna go into a lighter shade, kind of just for the inner corner, so it doesn't look like too dark. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a gold type shade. And I'm gonna use the other side of that brush. I'm just gonna go right in the corner. And I'm gonna blend it into that green. It is super, super pretty. I wanna actually swatch all the shades for you. These are really creamy. They kinda of have like that cushiony feel. As you can see, like there's like a little indentation in there. They have like a really like kinda of cushiony feel, but very, very creamy. So that is the bottom row. That right there is the top row. So the second shade is what I have on my lid. See, it's more like a turquoise type shade, but they are somewhat duochrome. So they can look turquoise and then green, but really gorgeous. These can actually be used wet as well, and I think it'll intensify the shade a lot more. I really feel like I don't need to do that, but you can actually spray your brush. And since we have green on, I think what I'll do is go in with the purple and just pat it right there in the middle. And it's more intense with the wet brush. But honestly, like I said, you don't, you don't really need to wet your brush. You can even use your finger 
and pat that shade on there. That's also another option that you can use with these shadows, but they're super beautiful shadows. So the next product I wanna use is by Iconic. This is a setting spray, and it's supposed to be like this really beautiful, kind of glowy setting mist. It says here, you prep, set, and glow. So you could actually use this before putting foundation on. Today, of course, I'm gonna use it as a setting spray. I got the mini one because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the larger size and that's what it looks like. You see the product just swirling around in there. Oh, it smells really good. I wasn't too sure about this product, guys. I thought it was gonna be like super like dewy, like oily looking, but it looks really beautiful. I don't think that next time I use this, I would use it on the center of my face. I think I would just kind of hold a card and spray it here or, you know, hold a mirror and spray it here because on the center of my face, I actually get oily. So I would not want to add more shine there. So yeah, I think it's really gorgeous. You can also use this like on your shoulders. I've seen on the Iconic website that you can use this on your decollete. Now that has a really pretty glow to it. It's not as glowy as I thought it was gonna be, but it does have a beautiful glow. I really actually like it just for a setting spray. Like I said, the center of my face it looks too glowy, but I would definitely use it like on the outer portions of my uh, face, just like on the high points. So I've had this lipstick for a while. This is the NYX suede lipstick. This one's in the shade Kitten Heels. It's a beautiful, like a bright orangey red shade. Now, I know it's not gonna go with this look, but I still wanna try out the lipstick. And I'm actually gonna use it with MAC Cherry Lip Liner. It's gonna be really bright for this eye look, but I still wanna try the lipstick. I've had it for a while and I haven't tried it. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. It is like the perfect shade for like summer. It's so pretty, it's so bright, but it's not like too bright where you can't wear it out um, or that you would feel self-conscious about wearing a bright lip. I really love it. I think it's so pretty and it goes perfect with that cherry lip liner by MAC. It just works well with it. But isn't this beautiful? I love, love this lipstick. I've always liked these suede lipsticks. I don't have a lot of them, but I do feel like they're very, comfortable on the lips they have like this matte look but not super matte you know it still kind of moves around it's not drying on the lips so yeah I really like this shade guys this is a good one for summer I can't get over how pretty it is it's just beautiful. All right, guys. So like I said, this was a quick one. We're going to go over the products really quickly. I already talked to you guys about the Iconic Spray. I am going to try this before I put my foundation on just to see how it looks. But so far, I love the way it looks on the skin. Like I said, I would not put it on the center of my T-zone because I do get a little oily there. But this is really pretty just like on the outer perimeters of your face. So this is a yes for the lip oil. This was the second time using it. I love this lip oil. It makes your lips look look so like juicy and I love the feel of it. It's not too sticky, it's not goopy, and it doesn't have a lot of slip to it. It just feels really nice on the lips and it feels like it's doing something to my lips like by making them a little bit softer. So yeah, that's a yes as well. And then for the Cosette palette, this is so, so good. I am in awe. I love every shade in here. I can't wait to use the blue and this like green. I'm just like so excited. I love the shades that I used today. Really beautiful. Everything blended well. Now I could have gone in with a little bit more darkness here, which I probably will just in a second, but yeah, everything looks really pretty, very bright. These would be really beautiful, like all over the eye and kind of smoked out. They would just like pop. So I really am loving this palette. And then for the black opal, I am not surprised. I told you guys when I swatched this that the shades were so vibrant and just so pigmented. Yeah, I'm not surprised that I love this palette at all. It looks so beautiful just with the shades I had on earlier before I put like the bright shades. So yeah, this is gonna be one of those palettes that I can use like on an everyday basis. I am gonna add a little bit of depth here with a darker shade kind of make those other shades pop. What I love about this too is it doesn't have any fallout. I haven't seen any fallout on my face. Everything just blended really well. 
It blended with these bright shades really well. I'm loving this palette as much as I love the Cosette one. This one is gonna be such a good palette for like every day, for the summer, for the fall. I think it's just like an all year round palette. So that's it for me trying a few of these new products from my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.